Welcome to experiment 7. In today's experiment, you will be performing a green chemistry oxidation of the S enantiomer of borneol to the S enantiomer of camphor using oxone and sodium chloride. Start by obtaining 3 milliliters of ethyl acetate. Next, obtain 0.3 grams of the S enantiomer of borneol. Add a stir bar, the S enantiomer of borneol, and your ethyl acetate to a 25 milliliter round bottom flask. Measure out 0.7 grams of oxone. Next, measure out 30 milligrams of sodium chloride. Also measure out 5 milliliters of deionized water. While the solution is stirring, add the oxone, sodium chloride, and deionized water to the solution. This will create a biphasic mixture. Let the solution stir for 45 minutes. While your solution is stirring, measure out an additional 10 milligrams of sodium chloride. After the 45 minutes are up, add the sodium chloride to the solution and stir for an additional 15 minutes. While the solution is stirring, measure out an additional 5 milliliters of deionized water. Once the reaction is complete, add the 5 milliliters of deionized water and remove the stir bar. Next, pour the biphasic mixture into a separatory funnel.
Measure out 5 milliliters of diethyl ether. Add the diethyl ether to your solution. Mix the solution in the separatory funnel and remember to vent the funnel while doing so. Drain the lower aqueous layer into a beaker. Next, drain the top organic layer into a separate beaker. Measure out an additional 5 milliliters of diethyl ether. Add your lower aqueous layer back into the separatory funnel along with the diethyl ether. Mix the solution and remember to vent the funnel while doing so. Drain the lower aqueous layer back into its beaker. Next, combine your top organic layer with your previous organic layer. Measure out another 5 milliliters of diethyl ether and repeat the previous process once more. Combine your top organic layer with your previous organic layers. Dry with magnesium sulfate.
pour the liquid into a separate beaker. Evaporate all the solvent with compressed air under a fume hood till no liquid remains. Measure the mass of the beaker containing the S enantiomer of camphor. Clean and reweigh the beaker, then calculate the mass of camphor produced, then calculate your percent yield. That is the end of experiment 7. Be sure to clean your lab station before you leave and make sure to make all your necessary calculations. Thank you for watching.